Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Heti TV's Foreign Language News Broadcast. My name is Adam Breuer, and first for the news in English. The examination of the Hoblei sightseeing boat that was lifted from the River Danube on Tuesday has been completed, and no new bodies have been recovered, reported the Budapest Police Headquarters on Wednesday evening. The number of people involved in the search has been doubled, and the rescue operation is still underway along the entire, entire southern part of the Danube. One man's body was recovered from the Danube between Bölcke and Modoc on Tuesday afternoon. The body has been identified as one of the missing victims of the boat accident, reported the police. The rescue team is still searching for three South Korean passengers along the Danube from the Margit Bridge all the way to the southern border. According to the president of Hungary, what happened at the military cemetery in Uzvöd was offensive, violated general laws and international agreements, and was, in addition, totally immoral. Janos Ader drew after the Pentecostal mass the attention of the people to the fact that part of the cross of the Romanian parcels was put over the remains of Hungarian soldiers. He also stressed that the Romanian authorities also found the alteration of the cemetery to be illegal, which also violates a Romanian-Hungarian agreement. Previously, the Romanian prime minister suggested that the Uzwood military cemetery be placed under the supervision of the Ministry of Defense of Bucharest. Earlier, the Hungarian government protested that on Thursday, Romanian extremists had ravaged the cemetery. Fidesz will decide whether to continue its politics in the European People's Party or on a different platform, said Bolaj Hidvegi, the newly elected European parliamentary uh, representative of the government. The Fidesz communication director said that the left-wing policy of the European People's Party brought by a weakening so the party family's orientation should be brought back to the right. Balazs Hidvegi reported that the result of the Fidesz KDMP party group is widely recognized in the People's Party, and many have expressed hope that Fidesz KDMP will stay within the party family. The politician said in this context that the Hungarians voted with a huge majority to stand up against immigration, to represent the concept of a Europe of nations, to stick to Hungarian national sovereignty, and to go against the bad Brussels policy which has weakened Europe in recent years. The Parbeste Parliamentary Group has turned to the Constitu Constitutional Court over the legislative amendment regarding the Hungarian Academy of Sciences and asked the other opposition parties to join them in their efforts. Parbeste Member of Parliament Tomás Mellar branded the proposal a brutal attack on Hungarian sciences, saying that it goes against the freedom of sciences and of the Academy itself and it breaches the right to property. He added that the draft goes against the will of stakeholders by taking away the network of research institutions from the Hungarian Academy of Science and giving it to the Innovations Ministry. This is anti-democratic and narrow-minded, he said. Tory leadership and Prime Minister candidates have expressed drastically different opinions about the possible conditions and date of Brexit. Some believe the currently existing deadline of October 31st cannot be kept, while others believe that Brexit cannot be extended beyond this date for any reason. Hardline Brexiteer Andrea Leedsom, for the leader of the House of Commons, shares this latter view, saying that the late October date is set in stone and must be kept under any circumstances. However, former Chief Whip Mark Harper said that the October 31st date cannot be kept under the current circumstances as no agreement has been passed and there is no time to negotiate another agreement at this stage. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe talked to U.S. President Donald Trump on the phone regarding Iran one day before his three-day visit to Tehran, reported Tokyo. Yoshihide Suge, Japan, Japan's chief cabinet secretary, said the two leaders talked about the situation in certain regions. Shinzo Abe is the first Japanese Prime Minister in over 40 years to visit Tehran, where he is meeting Saeed Ali Khamenei Ayatollah, the religious and political leader of Iran, and Hassan Rouhani, head of state. He added that Japan and Iran established diplomatic ties 90 years ago. It's been known before that Shinzo Abe would be willing to act as a mediator between the United States and Iran, since Tokyo is greatly dependent on importing oil and thus maintains good relations with the Middle Eastern country. On his visit to Japan at the end of May, Donald Trump did not oppose the Japanese Prime Minister's plan to meet the Iranian leaders. The Sana Syrian news agency reported that Israel fired several missiles at the town of Al-Kharra just across the border from the Jewish state. Syrian air defenses claim to have intercepted several of the projectiles. No injuries have been reported. The Israeli defense forces have not commented on the news 
as usual. The target area in the alleged attack was a strategic point facing the Golan Heights. The report said that Israel had jammed Syrian air defense radars in the area. In the rare occasions that Israel has targeted villages and towns along the Golan Heights border recently, it has been after identifying Iranian and Hezbollah attempts to establish terrorist cells and infrastructure in the area. While Israel has carried out hundreds of strikes in Syria in recent years, they have usually targeted bases linked to Iran. Donald Trump's pro-Israel moves seem to have paid off politically for the Republican president. Based on a survey by Seattle College, 40% of the interviewed New York Jews would re-elect Donald Trump, reported Boropar24. Other groups responded differently, which can be expected from the traditional Democratic New York. The results are surprising indeed if, they survey, if the survey reflects reality, as the Jewish community in New York has always voted for the Democratic candidate even when the Republican rival was openly pro-Israeli. Jewish people have always voted for the Democratic Party in the past century. Trump managed to gain only 24% of the votes in 2016. That is less than Romney's 30% in 2012, but more than John McCain's 21% back in 2008. And finally, for the weather, the hot weather with 32 to 37 degrees will continue on Saturday. We can expect a dry weather with a few clouds and strong southern winds in the western areas of the country. Sunday will be sunny initially, but clouds will form during the day, and a cold front will bring showers and rainfall. The northwesterly winds will become increasingly strong, and in the evening it will be accompanied by stormy wind gusts in many places. Maximum temperatures will still be above 30 degrees. Monday will bring showers and rainfall around the country. Temperatures will be between 26 and 33 degrees with cooler temperatures in the west. For further news, please visit our websites at hetdv.com or broyerpress.com. Thank you for your attention. And now we turn to Peter with the news in German.